Praise the Lord. My name is Marley Luca Chirayo, and this is my story about encountering Christ during the Eucharistic Adoration. I am a wife and a mother of five beautiful children. I was born into the Orthodox family and actually got married into the Catholic family and the Catholic faith. So in the beginning of my faith journey, actually, um, I was just like anybody else going to church, not really understanding because I come from a different background. I was born in America and really didn't um, have a good catechism in my background. So I wasn't, I was taking my kids to the church and, but not really understanding what I was doing. I belong to St. Thomas Sarah Malabar Cathedral in Chicago, but you know, I was doing everything in kind of like in motion, but not really understanding what's going on. But one day in 2012, in June or July, um, Father Nike Bottomalachin came, and usually I never attend any retreats. I just attend for maybe 10, 20 minutes. And one of the things that he said was that if you're going through any type of struggles, go and sit in the Eucharistic Adoration for 10 days and the Lord will take care of it. So that really touched me because, um, you know, just I just remembered that being in my heart, so I just kept it closed. But I didn't really do anything about it because, you know, at that time, you know, things are going okay. But, you know, in November, I actually was going through a really hard time in my life. And, you know, those times when, you know, you reach out to people and, you know, every answer is not something that you want to hear. And I think for the first time in my life, I actually got down on my knees. And I can still remember the day, it was November 18, 2012, I got down on my knees and I actually asked God, I need your help. I don't know what else to do. The people are not giving me the answers that I need. And then by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, I heard three words. And the Holy Spirit said to me, three words, just three words, and that's go to church. And I was in my mind thinking like, how's going to church gonna help me because I've been going to the church for the past 18 years and I haven't seen any difference. The second time, the voice was really loud and clear and said, go to church. And of course, I'm in my bedroom by myself and I'm like thinking, how is going to church gonna help? The third time, the voice was very strict and said, go to church. And I got really scared and I was like, okay, starting tomorrow, I'm gonna go to church. But I didn't know where I was gonna go. Like, what am I gonna do? Then all of a sudden I remembered this retreat and what Father and I Mulachin said. So before this, I never really sat in Eucharistic Adoration. So I remember going after work and sitting, you know, going to the Eucharistic uh, or the Adoration Chapel near my house. And I went there for the first time. And this is my sitting there for an hour. I was like, okay, I knew I was supposed to sit there for an hour. didn't know what to do. So I just sat there in front of Christ. And I was like, day one, I really didn't feel anything. So I was like, okay, how is this going to help? But then I kept remembering what Achin said. So I was like, okay, I'm going to keep. So I made a commitment. I'm like, I'm going to give this a try out. I'm going to go and sit in front of God and see what he's going to do. Day two, no, no change. Day three. And by day five, I was getting kind of like restless sitting in the chapel and didn't what can I do? So I started picking up some books in the Adoration Chapel, started reading about saints, like St. Francis and of Assisi, St. Augustine. I was just reading their books. So my image of the Catholic Church was, this is where all these perfect people go. And I didn't realize that the Lord was calling me. And he was calling me and telling me that he loves me. Even though people can judge me, the Lord never did. He said that in Isaiah 43, one says, But now thus says the Lord who created you, Jacob, and formed you, Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, and you are mine. And that really touched me because up until then, you're thinking that and you're facing the world and you're alone, and people could be around you, but really not understand you. And I started realizing the love of Jesus during that, these times. So by day 10, I couldn't remember why I was sitting there, but something happened, this encounter sitting there in, in front of the Eucharist, is that the Lord was stirring something in my heart.
and, and he was telling me not to look at the world and he was telling me to look at him in proverbs 3 5 says trust in the lord with all your heart and on your intelligence do not rely so sitting in eucharistic adoration means that you have to have complete faith you know faith is the size of a mustard seed and you have to sit there and understand that the lord is working there and it's not anything else you can't think with your mind how is this going to work it's completely having trust in god so then what happened after day 10 it was like christmas you know we're getting ready for christmas december 1 through 25 and normally i can give up you know meat fish you know seafood any of those things i can give up anything like that for god but what i couldn't and then i, I had difficulty was why don't i sit in eucharistic adoration for the next 25 days and see what the lord wants to talk to me so during this time i remember it was my daughter's uh, sweet 16 party uh, there was many events that were going on but i did after work every single day i went to eucharistic adoration sat in front of my lord started reading the bible a little bit further more and i'm going to tell you those 25 days really lit a fire in my heart to know god to know him and how can i come back to the faith how can i come back stronger by i remember even getting a, a um a temperature the day before christmas like i was like a hundred and something and i was like and my husband and my family were like okay stay home because you're sick and i was like no i promised god i will be there for 25 days and, so, and by by the time i came back from the chapel my fever was gone i had so many miracles it wasn't just it was just the beginning of touching god sitting there to understand that he has a plan for my life and you know we have to understand when we sit in front of god and with our open hearts and mind the lord will take over because it says in deuteronomy 6 5 says therefore you shall love the lord your god with all your heart and with all your being and with all your strength how much of us are doing that daily to love him and 2013 started my journey of faith in reading the bible you know attending holy mass daily and even during COVID, I had to do, sometimes I had to go through spiritual communion, but the Lord allowed me to, you know, getting, get the Eucharist during those pandemic times too. And from that point onward, from November 18, 2012 to this day, I have loved the Lord with so much of my heart. And I, and I, you know, even though people around you don't understand, God understands and he loves, and that's what he's here for. And if you're struggling and you want to know where can you get closer to God, come and sit in front of the Eucharist and see the miracles that he wants to do. You know, this um, last year, you know, I had the blessed uh, experience of actually during Lent, I made another promise towards God and I was like, you know, I want to sit in Eucharistic adoration for the next five months straight. And I was able to do that. I started in March and completed it by September. And from after that, I was able to go on a Europe trip to, to go and to many places around Europe of the Blessed Sacrament. Was Praise the Lord. All glory to Jesus Christ.